And here we have it. We'll have time to think about what kind of legislation is necessary for the legislature to consider on a bill that amends a prior bill that specifically requires that that final report includes the very legislation that they're talking about we would have to consider. The bill requires us to be handed not only a final report, but the legislation necessary to implement only a public power model. Even the title of the bill that we have before us today, Mr. President, it talks about the Legislative Commission on the Future of the Long Island Power Authority, as if there was a choice, as if somehow the public, by coming to these hearings, is going to have a choice on whether or not they're going to receive power through an authority or whether or not they're going to receive power through some other model. Because there are other models that are more common than not across the United States. Our ability to ensure that we can provide cheap, effective, accountable utilities for our communities is something I don't take lightly. The idea that we are presupposing here a model that will be imposed on over three million people down on Long Island, that includes everybody in this chamber who voted in favor of a bill that would require Long Islanders to be provided energy in a certain way and not to have a choice. That's what we're being asked to do. And while we're amending this bill to extend time periods to November, magically, because I have my suspicions, Mr. President, that this report and this final report is not only already prepared, but the legislation has already been drafted, my guess. But yet, we're going to go through the process of holding hearings and asking people their opinion as if they have a choice, giving the illusion of a choice that isn't there. Now, if you told me we were going to hold a hearing and we were going to actually have a debate as to whether or not the public power model or a private model actually makes sense, and that that's what this is, the future of the Long Island Power Authority, great. But that's not what this is. So let's call it what it is. This is a, an effort to move a policy forward that isn't, in, in my opinion, in the best interest of those people who live on Long Island, is going to result in less effective means of providing energy, higher costs for my constituents, less accountability, and more control from here, from Albany, from here, not from downstate, not from Long Island, but here, another authority where people in Albany can tell them what to do, and yet we're the ones who are left holding the bag. My constituents are the ones who are gonna end up paying for this. Now there are people out there, Mr. President, who say, you know, we don't like private enterprise. They have a profit motive. Profits somehow have become bad, Mr. President. That somehow, using a public or private model in this case, with shareholders and accountability and innovation and asking for transparency in that model, that somehow that's wrong. Well, people should have a choice. They should have a choice in how they proceed. That choice was taken away. And to sit here and say that we're not going to discuss a prior bill when that's what this is all about. Now, I don't know why November 30th was picked as a date. I have a suspicion. We have elections coming up later this year. It'd be great to push this issue off till after the election in November. It'd be great for us not to have this issue on our front burner while people are being asked to make decisions locally across the state and certainly on Long Island. Let's push it back to the end of November. Legislature's not in session anyway. We'll come back in January. The report will be there. We'll have the opportunity not only to take that report, but we'll be able to take the legislation that's going to be provided. Someone will put their name on it. It'll appear on the floor. And I hope, I hope when we actually get to that point, that the people in this chamber, those who represent the island and those that don't represent the island, will remember and keep those residents on the island here first. 
because it's very easy for people to vote for something when it doesn't affect them. So, Mr. President, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about decisions past and decisions current and perhaps decisions future. I'm concerned for what this means for the island and the fact that the residents of Long Island do not have a choice, that this is unidirectional, should concern all of us. Mr. President, I'll be voting nay. Thank you.